visuals on your screen there of Prime Minister Narendra Modi arriving in Panjim and paying respect to the late Goa Chief Minister and former Defence Minister Manohar Parikar, who breathed his last at his residence on Sunday after battling pancreatic cancer. Prime Minister Narendra Modi there to pay his condolences, spending some time there with the family and the kin of Manohar Parikar. Remember, Manohar Parikar's mortal remains are at Kala Academy in Panjim, where the Prime Minister is currently at. And the public is gathered there in mass numbers to pay their final respects to the tall leader of Goa and the former Defence Minister of India, Manohar Parikar. At 4 p.m. later today, the funeral procession of Manohar Parikar will begin and his last rites are expected at around 5 o'clock with full state honours. The four-time Chief Minister of Goa losing a battle to pancreatic cancer but serving his state until his very last moment. Prime Minister there, along with a host of other leaders, have paid glowing tribute to Mr. Parikar and acknowledging his deep services both to the state and the nation. Political leaders from across party lines and the political spectrum have expressed grief at the demise of Goa's most popular leader, who remained active in public life almost till his very last day. Manohar Parikar will be laid to rest with full state honours at 5 p.m. this evening. BJP President Amit Shah is also expected in Panaji shortly, while Narendra Modi, as you can see from the visuals on your screen there, is extending his condolences to the family and the kin of Manohar Parikar. My colleague Mayuresh is at Panaji there and Mayuresh, if I can come to you, we are seeing the Prime Minister paying his tribute there and it's been not just him but every single leader from across the political spectrum has paid tribute to Manohar Parikar, a sign of the kind of respect that he enjoyed from across the political spectrum. Uh, certainly, Manohar Parikar uh, uh, is, uh, is, was one of the uh, respected leaders of not only of Goa, but we can say of India. Uh, since morning, we have seen that uh, from 6 a.m. Uh, early in the morning, people uh, were waiting at the BJP headquarters. That particular venue was chosen just for the BJP workers and BJP leaders, but all the people from his constituency, the common man, we can say that because he was a leader of a common man, they came there to pay their last respect. After that, his mortal remains were taken to Kala Academy and outside Kala Academy, it's still there is a huge queue. People have gathered in a large number to uh, take a, a last look or pay the last respect to their leader because Manor Parikar and Goa is a kind of a connection that no one will forget. He had done a lot for Goa, the Goa which we see right now, the developed Goa. He was the, uh, we can say, the backbone behind this entire development, architect of this uh, uh, entire development. As we speak about Manohar Parikar, <coughs> yes, RSS uh, in 90s asked him uh, that he should enter into active politics and he should spread uh, BJP throughout the Goa. And what the glorious days which uh, BJP, is, BJP is seeing right now or BJP has seen in past is just because of uh, Manohar Parikar. So he was he, he used to work relentlessly. Uh, 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 since morning, I've given one example. Again, I would like to tell our viewers that when he was in US for the medical treatment, that time also he used to take regular follow-up from his cabinet ministers about the proposal and especially the proposals which uh, which were con which which were having the concern of a common man like a road development a bridge development kind of a uh, uh, projects he used to take a regular follow-up and he had asked them to put all such projects on the project and that's why uh, we saw that there was a tremendous uh, gathering which had come to pay last respect to Manohar Parikar. In that gathering, we saw that uh, people from uh, various walks of life have come. Uh, there were small children, there were young uh, students, or uh, we can say the young brigade was also there. And all, on, uh, I, I could see that uh, everyone's eyes was moist when they just came out of the BJP headquarters. So certainly it was a, it is a very emotional moment, not only for entire Panjim, 
because Manohar Parikas constituency was a punch but it is for entire Goa and especially for the Goa BJP because they have lost their beloved CM who, who worked till last uh, day of his life. Right, and Mayuresh, we do know that Manohar Parikar's final journey is going to begin a short time from now. Could you just take us through the schedule? Are we expecting the Prime Minister and BJP President Amit Shah to be walking along with him in his last right journey as well? Uh, yeah, certainly uh, uh, PM is reaching in a while as well as you can see the visuals also and Amit Shah will be reaching at 3 p.m. Uh, right now I'm at uh, one of the resort called Siddhartha Goa where the BJP meeting uh, was happening uh, with his uh, 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 leaders where Nitin Gadkari is inside. So at 3 p.m. Nitin Gadkari will also leave from this particular place towards the Kala Academy and after that the final journey will start from Kala Academy to the Miramar uh, beach where the final cremation and the final rites will happen. Right. Prime Minister Narendra Modi accompanied by Nirmala Sitaraman there paying respect and extending his condolences to an inconsolable family of Manohar Parikar. Now, Mayuresh, somebody from across, the, everyone from across the political spectrum, I beg your pardon, has paid respect to him. He was actually the original Aam Admi chief minister. He was extremely accessible. He was somebody who you'd see standing in queues. He was somebody who had no pretense about him at all. Certainly. Uh, and if you ask anyone in Panjim constituency or in Goa, they will say that Manohar Parikar was very much accessible to them. We have seen that uh, 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 leaders once become MLA or MP, uh, they start treating themselves as a VVIP and they expect uh, the same from the, uh, from their voters or from the common man. But he was not like that. As uh, Since yesterday, a lot of our own uh, guest panelists uh, have... Uh, shared their views that how Manohar Parikar used to stand in the queue uh, of a boarding a plane or else even uh, for that matter during the elections I have seen that even he uh, early in the morning at 7, 7.15 he came to cast his vote in Panjim. He stood in a queue then he uh, then along with the queue he went ahead he cast his vote and then he came out. So certainly he was a man of a discipline and that's why uh, he was regarded as a taskmaster. Uh, let me uh, share one view uh, one, one of the experience or we can say the memory uh, of uh, Manohar Parikar that when he was in, uh, I, I, just, I just said that when he was in US, that time also he used to keep tab on each and everything and he used to regularly take follow-ups and used to ask that this task should be done. Whenever any file uh, goes to Manohar Parikar or even if he gets some SMS from anyone, uh, from his constituency, from any part of Goa that this is a problem in this particular area, why don't you do anything? He immediately used to ask his officers that please get the details of this particular thing, what exactly is the problem over there. And after getting the details, if the problem is really that big, he used to take a regular follow-up of, follow of that. So certainly he was a kind of a taskmaster who, uh, who always followed the discipline in his life. And we saw that uh, in last few months also, that despite being uh, not, not keeping well, he used to attain the office. He presented the budget also this year. And that was quite remarkable, that no one, uh, no one had thought that uh, Parikar will come after the treatment uh, to Goa and he will directly go uh, to his house uh, he'll, uh, and after that immediately he will present the budget. So certainly it was kind of a comeback that everyone thought that Manur Parikar had uh, done. But unfortunately uh, yesterday uh, he breathed his last at his Donapola residence and now Manur Parikar is no more.